It looks like most of us have filtered into the auditorium, so I'm going to go ahead and start with my introduction. I'm Andrew Kensett. I am the assistant curator here at the Center for Creative Photography, and it's my great pleasure to introduce this afternoon's speaker, Kozo Miyoshi. So most of you probably know that for the past 10 years, the Center has partnered with Phoenix Art Museum to bring our world-class collections to Phoenix audiences. And that's a partnership that has been supported by the ongoing dedication and commitment of both the Center and Phoenix Art Museum by the tireless work of InFocus, the Phoenix Art Museum's photography support organization, and first and foremost by a generous donation from John and Doris Norton, two photography enthusiasts who envisioned a vibrant and robust exhibition program in photography at Phoenix Art Museum. They really made that collaboration possible. So I am the curator of the most recent exhibition at the Norton Gallery in Phoenix. And that exhibition is called Longer Ways to Go, Photographs of the American Road. And it's pretty much exactly what it sounds like. And it really got started with a remarkable body of photographs made by this afternoon speaker on Route 66 while he was an artist in residence here at the Center for Creative Photography from 1991 to 1996. The exhibition was inspired by that body of photographs and works from that body are at the core of the exhibition. So Kozu Miyoshi is a photographer who was born and grew up in Japan and who has had a significant career both in his home country and here in the United States. Two books of his work have been published in the US. The Center, published Far East and Southwest, The Photography of Kozo Miyoshi in 1994. In the Road, a collection of Miyoshi's photographs of Route 66, was published by an Israeli press in 1999. Kozo's work is held here at the Center, as well as in the collections of Princeton University Art Museum, the George Eastman Museum in Rochester, New York, the Museum of Fine Arts Houston, the Hallmark Collection in Kansas City, Missouri, and in collections overseas, including those of the National Museum of Art in Tokyo, Nihon University in Tokyo, and the Tokyo Photographic Art Museum. As I mentioned, the current photography exhibition at Phoenix Art Museum, Longer Ways to Go, began with Kozo's photographs. And as the curator of the exhibition, I really took my cues from his images. I was informed by Kozo's attunement to particularities of clothing, signage, and architecture, his sensitive treatment of the natural landscape, his commitment to documenting both vitality and decrepitude on Route 66, and his appreciative eye for the visual traces of America's most enduring myths. My preparations for the exhibition brought me to the center's curatorial files, where we catalog press, exhibition announcements, correspondence, acquisition records. Flipping through Kozo's file, I found messages from the center's staff to Kozo. In a 1994 letter from the center's then director, Terry Pitts, really stood out to me. It was sent on the occasion of the publication of Far East and Southwest. And he wrote, in 1989, when I wrote to you in Japan asking if we could meet, I had no idea that letter would lead to your close association with the center, with the exhibition and catalog of your photography that we're producing, or with the personal friendship that all of us at the center have developed with you and your family. I feel the center's relationship with you has been one of the most significant and rewarding experiences we have ever had. I'm honored to be able to continue that longstanding relationship and to welcome Kozo Miyoshi here this afternoon.